Hello everyone, today I will show you how to get started with Just Cause 3 modding. Before we start, you will need to get paint.net for modding textures, Notepad++ and the HXD hex editor. If you want to make life easy on yourself, also get Qt tab bar that will add tabs to your Windows File Explorer and disable the Windows File Path length limit. As for tools we will be using, we will be using Unknowns Enhanced Tools and Names Updated Tools. Names will be used for stat files and unknowns for pretty much everything else. I will link all the things I mentioned before in the description. Now that that's out the way, let's start. Create a folder to keep your tools and game files. Unpack the tools I mentioned before and put them here too. Then go to unknowns tools and run unpack.exe. Give it the path to the Just Cause 3 install folder and the folder where you want to store the game's files. If you can't find the Just Cause 3 install folder, go to Steam, then to your library, find Just Cause 3 in your list of games, click Properties. Now in the small windows, click the Local Files tab and click Browse Local Files. Once you gave it all the paths, the game will now be unpacked. This might take a while depending on the speed of your drive. Also mind that this will slow down the drive significantly until it's done with unpacking. Once done, go into the folder with all the files. We will refer to this folder as the Unpack folder. You will see three folders, for Win64, Patch164 and DLC. If you don't have any DLC for the game, you will not have a DLC folder, so just ignore when I mention it. Now we will move some folders to make it less of a mess. First go to the Win64 folder. You will see a range of folders like Editor, Models and Settings. Mark all the folders here, cut them, go back to the root of your Unpack folder and paste them here. Now do the same for the Patch Win64 folder and the DLC folder. If it asks you to replace files for the Patch folder, do so. Now that that's done, delete the Win64, Patch Win64 and DLC folders. Now that that's done, let's set up your mod folders. You can test in single player, though it's way easier to do it in multiplayer. So let's set up a mod folder for both, but you can still choose later. First, go to Steam, then to your library, find Just Cause 3 again, right click it, click Properties, and set Launch Options. Paste the first launch options I put in the description below, including the dot at the end, then press OK. If you don't already have Just Cause 3 multiplayer, I'll link it in the description or just search it in the Steam shop. Once downloaded, do the same thing as for Just Cause 3, but use the second set of launch options from the description. Once you set launch options for both games, go to the Just Cause 3 install folder again and create a folder called Drop Zone and one called Drop Zone MP. A regular Drop Zone will have your single player mods. Drop Zone MP will have multiplayer mods. We will be referring to those folders as single player and multiplayer mod folders. And that's it, now you can start modding. I will leave a list of file types and what they do in the description below. Of course I will make more tutorials soon. Also be sure to join my discord for help with modding and thanks for watching.